Welcome friends. We are now on Titus chapter 2. Another beautiful day. It's breezy and yet we're in the shade and we're enjoying the warmth but we're not too warm yet. But we're going to read now chapter 2 of Titus. Chapter 2. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. The aged women likewise that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. To be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works and doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters, and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not purloining, but showing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God our Savior in all things. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Thank you, friends. That was Titus chapter 3. No, sorry, that was Titus chapter 2. Uh, remember, the instruction that we need is in the Word of God. And so we should look at it. Or, and thank you for coming to, to hear it here at The Nameless Preacher. I'll be back again with chapter 3. We'll continue on this nice little book of Titus. Thank you again.